welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps, and this is Margie, and I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Oh, this is May 18th, Friday, and I cannot believe how fast this month has gone. Oh my goodness. Today, today, folks, I thank you for joining me, and I just want to say, you know, I think it's so cool how I just have this little following. Um, a lot of my uh, the viewers are from the United States, but I also have a handful in other parts of the country. Um, you, know, uh, you know, Germany, England, and uh, maybe a few in Africa, and just you know, just in different places. And I just I just think that is just so awesome. So I thank you, each and every one of you, who are watching my videos. All right, gang, I have been using my cylinder mold, hope it's showing up here, from Brambleberry lately, and yesterday I made another, what is this, 14 bars, 13, 14 bars of the oatmeal milk and honey, and I thought, you know what, I want to do something different this time. I have made my... Uh, citrus bars in the oval molds and I have made my oh um, the lemon poppy seed no just just regular bars but I have never made my any any yellow lemon bars in this mold here so I thought what the heck let's live a little so I got that already, and let's see, okay, housekeeping, I just kind of want to get all the housekeeping done and out of the way, and then I will be quiet, and then, and then we'll get the music cranked up. So, I think I put the container, shoot, the bottle back in the cupboard just to get the kitchen a little cleaned up here, but the fragrance oil today is the Avo Bath from Nurture Soap. It is an essential oil fragrance oil. And I have mentioned in a few videos how I just love the, the blend um, that Nurture Soap has for quite a few fragrance oils. Go to their website, folks, and check out their essential oil slash fragrance oil blends. They, it is a little bit more expensive just because it has a lot of the essential oils. And let me tell you this, I mean, they are beautiful. So if you maybe don't want to be purchasing just, you know, 100% essential oils because they are pricey. I mean, beautiful, yes, but pricey, you know, um, yes. Check out their blends. They have quite a few. So I have a couple of ounces here. I have a little bit of goat's milk. And this is my colorant. This is the Fizzy Lemonade Colorant. It's not a mica. It is a colorant. Now micas, as you probably know, um, disperse. That's the word. I actually remember the word. Uh, micas disperse easy in in your oils when you're mixing them. Colorants, not so much. And this is what it looks like. They're really, really pretty. So what I do, I will pour just a little bit of the warm oils into a bowl. Add your colorants. And where in the heck is it? And then... Here is this little mixer from Brambleberry. See? Broom, broom, broom. And if that doesn't get it nice and smooth. Now, while I was preparing other things, this kind of uh, thickened up a little bit. Uh, liquid sunshine in a, in a bowl there. So that's going to be that. Um, and then I have some honey from Mount St. Helens. I'm going to Hopefully it, the oils has not cooled off too much, so I would like to put some of that in. 
So, um, and if I have any left over, because I think my recipe, I haven't tweaked it enough so it's perfect in the mold. So I, so I have this nice mold here that I can use. So, without further ado, let's get going here. Here's my, here's my lie. All right, let's get soaping, gang. Mm -hmm. 